Welcome to Temple Beth Or. I'm Rabbi Lucy Dinner with a little bit of a frog in my throat and Rabbi Leah Citrin and Zemmer Lexi Newell join from Temple Beth Or's virtual sanctuary along with our bat mitzvah, Shana Gottlieb and her family to share the Sabbath this morning. As we are entering into our Zoom service, we just share a little bit of Zoom etiquette as we get started. We do ask you to keep your microphone on mute, except for when we're asking you to share, to set your camera so that we can see your head and your shoulders. Do turn off your video if you are away from the service or if you need to attend to personal needs. Create a worship space for yourself and your viewers. Get a cup of wine for Kiddush at the end of the service. When we go to breakout rooms, if you want to opt out to leave that breakout room, please go ahead and opt out instead of remaining on mute so those who are left can talk with each other. If you have any questions, please send a note in chat to our Zoom host, who is our TBO host, Hillary Lamb this morning. And with that, let's turn to our worship and turn our thoughts to bringing in Shabbat. Matohu, page 172. we have welcomed Shabbat. Let us welcome one another. I invite you to go into breakout rooms and to wish each other a Shabbat Shalom. Introduce yourself to one another and to the Gottlieb family celebrating this Shabbat. back into our virtual sanctuary, our prayer book is available for you again. We continue with the call to worship on page 195. Yeah, I'm 
before we continue with our liturgy, uh, we want to welcome those who will share in opening readings. And first, I would like to before I would like to call forward Lynn Hamilton Moody and Gail and Barry Heller, who are with Shana in her house, to present her with her talit this morning, her prayer shawl, as she gets ready to lead us in prayer. Amen. And we turn to our opening readers. First, Nolan and then Russell Gesher. <clears throat> May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you, may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the warm rays of sun fall upon your home and may the hand of a friend always be near. May green be the grass you walk on. May blue be the skies above you. May pure be the joys that surround you. May true be the hearts that love you. Next. To lead us in prayer, I invite Linda and Jeremy Heller forward. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel demands no abdication of my mind. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel requires all the devotion of my heart. I am a Jew because in every place where suffering weeps, the Jew weeps. I am a Jew because at every time when despair cries out, the Jew hopes. I am a Jew because the word of Israel is the oldest and the newest. I am a Jew because Israel's promise is the universal promise. I am a Jew because for Israel, the world is not completed. We are completing it. I am a Jew because for Israel, humanity is not created. We are creating it. I am a Jew because Israel places humanity and its unity above the nations and above Israel itself. I am a Jew because above humanity, image of the divine... Place, the unity which is divine. Now that we have welcomed in Shabbat and we have been called to worship, we continue with the words of Yotzer Or, led by our Bat Mitzvah, on page 195. Or Yosei Shalom Ure et Hako. Hameir la Aretz Valadarim Aleha Brahamim. Uftubo Mahadesh Behol Yon Tamid Maase Vere Sheet. Mara Bu Mahaseha Adonai. Kulam the Hokma Asita. Maaha Aretz Kinyaneha. Kitra Adonai Lohenu. Al Shava Maaseya Deha. The Al Mare or Shasita. The Peruha Sela. Or Kadash al Tsion Tair, the Niske Kilayu Harot Mirot. Baruch Hata Adonai, Yotzer Hamarot. Please turn to page 199. O God, inspiration and guide for all, you have spoken a thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land and every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, O God, you are one unified humanity. We give thanks for the sages and teachers who bring us understanding of our will. Gratefully, we recall the lawgivers and prophets, the solemnists and sages of Israel. And joyfully remember that from the dawn of Israel's life, we, we, tu we turn to you and find purpose. May the teachings of our ancestors live on in our minds and the passion for righteousness stir our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Baruch HaTah Adonai, Abohar Ba'amu Yisrael Bahava. Shema Yisrael, 
We continue on page 208. <laughs> Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzebaot, Melokh Haaretz, Kevodo, Adir Adirenu Adonai, Adonenu, Madir Shimcha Vechol Haaretz, Baruch Kevod Adonai, Mimkomo, אחד הוא אלוהינו, הוא אבינו, הוא מלכנו, הוא מושיענו והוא ישמיענו, ורחמיו לעיני כל החי. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, ימלוך אדוני לעולם, אלוהי ציון. לדור בדור, הללויה. לדור בדור נגיד קוד לך, ונצק נצקים קדושתך נחדיש, ושבחך לא ירמי פילו לא ימוש לעולם בעד. ברוך אתה אדוני האל הקדוש. is to celebrate time rather than space. Six days a week, we live under the tyranny of things of space. On Shabbat, we try to become attuned to holiness and time. It is a day on which we are called upon to share in what is eternal in time, to turn from the results of creation to the mystery of creation, from the world of creation to the creation of the world. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. We give thanks to you, O God, whom alone we serve in reverence. We give thanks for the opportunity to be together. We give thanks for the opportunity to praise your name. And we give thanks for the opportunity to pursue peace. Sim Shalom, page 216. Sim. Sing, sing, shalom, sing, 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 shalom, sing, 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 shalom, fogal, baraka. Ya na 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 la 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 Ya na 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 la 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 Ya na 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 la 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 Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamivorech et Amo Yisrael Ba Shalom. Praised are you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. We turn inward now for Tfilat HaLev, the silent prayers of our hearts.
We turn now in our worship service to the service for reading of Torah, page 244. And one of the highlights of our bat mitzvah service is the bat mitzvah teaching us from the Torah, reminding us that education remains at the center of our culture, of our being, of our people. And so as Shana prepares to teach us Torah, her family gathers around her to lift the Torah and to undress the Torah and to celebrate with her. Page 244. <laughs> Malchut ha malchut kol olamim u'memshat ha betodor vador. Arnai melech, arnai malach, arnai imloch liolam avayil. Arnai os lemohitein, adonai berech et amo v'shalom. Ki mitzion teitzei Torah. Ki mitzion teitzei Torah, udbar Adonai merushalayim, baruch shenatan Torah, Torah, baruch shenatan Torah, Torah, le'amau Yisrael, v'yikidushato, shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadol Shemo. Lecha Adonai Agidol, Yagivura Beatiferit, Beanitzach Beachot. Ki chol vashen ma'im u'varetz, ki chol vashen ma'im u'varetz. Lecha Adonai amam lecha, v'ani nase lecha Amut Kayla Peshabad Brian Etave Moshe Clanimus. We call for the first Aliyah Kayla Gottlieb. Shmur 
to talk in love. Bye ha, bye leave ha, bye kill ha, let ha man, I shall lay a data, he lay a dream, I look a ha, a man, who do you ha, he so let him he go down, he get a ha down, he a ho homo talk he had an eye, he get a ha down. Yom du Brine Etel Bat Golda Gittel Ve Beryl David Moshe Klonimus Ben Lea Basha Ve Yaakov. We call for the second Elia, Erica and Michael Gottlieb. Amen. Amen. Simataha, Lovata, Meleha, Meleha, Lovataka, De Abraham Shana, Vedata, Imaveha, He, Kasher, yes, there, each at the mill, Adonai Laha, Meleha, Vishana, Marta, and me both, Adonai Laha, Paar, Hazava, Shana. We call for the final Aliyah, the Bat Mitzvah, Shana Gottlieb. Vines, fig 
berries and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat food without stint, where you will lack nothing, a land whose rocks and are iron, and from whose cellars you can mine copper. When you have eaten your fill, give thanks to the eternal your God for the good land given to you. Take care lest you for lest you forget the eternal your God and fail to keep the divine commandments, rules, and laws which I enjoy upon you today. Baruch Hata Adonai Elohi Numela Halam Ashina Tamani Tua Amet Vahiyeh Elohim Ata Betahini Baruch Hata Adonai Yotain Hata Ra'an Amen Amen and now we turn to page 252 as I invite our Hagba and Galila to lift and dress the Torah, Jeremy and Linda Heller, and Nathan and Aviva Heller. Bezot HaTorah, Sher Samoshe, Livne Bene Yisrael. Olpi Adonai, Biyan Moshe. Yala lai 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 Thrive and increase and be able to possess the land that the eternal promise on earth to your father. 
While following the rules is the main message of my portion, of this portion, there is a second part that I found meaningful too. Before you can follow the rules, you need to understand the rules. The word observe means to watch, perceive, or notice. That means really listening to the people and blo- listening to people and blocking out all the distractions and paying attention to whoever is talking. For as long as I can remember, my ADHD has made it hard for me to focus, making it difficult to understand the rules and to follow them. One strategy I use is to write down the things that I'm being asked to do when someone is talking to me so that I know what I have to do. I work very hard to overcome these struggles and be successful in school and at home. Continuing to focus on rules and instructions of God, as well as my parents and teachers, is a big part of becoming a Bible Mitzvah today. I am now a Jewish adult and I have accomplished something big. Preparing for my Bible Mitzvah, such as studying, writing the speech, has been meaningful to me and I've learned so much from it. It has brought me closer to God and strengthened me in the relationship with the Torah. I hope to one day pass along my knowledge of Judaism to my future kids. It also means that I am now responsible for performing good deeds known as, known as mitzvot. For my bat mitzvah, I completed a mitzvah project. I sewed security blankets for little kids at the UNT Children's Research Center, and you put a little note with each one. I chose this mitzvah because I, received, I recently did a peanut allergy food study there, and I brought my security blanket with me to every appointment. I've had that blanket since I was a baby, and it's helped me feel safe. I want little kids to, that may feel scared to feel safe, too. And last, I have some people to acknowledge. First, a big thanks to my tutor, Alan Schaefer, for preparing me for today, even if it was over Zoom rather than in person. I appreciate the beautiful music from Zemer Lexi and the, tour, the lessons in Torah from Rabbi Citron and Rabbi Jenner. I'm grateful to my relatives from near and far for all the love and support. I wish they could all be here with me today. I'd like to say hi and thank you to my school friends for making me laugh, even if it was during tests and quizzes. I really value the friendship I've made with my Hebrew school class, the Jewish Jelly Donuts. We've had so much fun on Saturdays. I love my little brother Lucas for cheering me up when I'm sad and being the cutest little boy I've ever seen. I could not have done this today without my older sister Kayla, who's helped me study so much even when I was goofing around. And last, my parents. Thank you, Mom, for stud- for helping me study for tests, making me close, and being the kindest and most loving mother in the world. You are the best mom anyone could ask for. And Dad, you are the best in the galaxy. Thank you for always supporting me in everything I do. Thank you for always believing in me when I do, when I don't. And honestly, thank you for the music, amazing new music. Shabbat shalom. So I'm going to go off script here for just 10 seconds and say that I know that some people may have hard, a hard time hearing everything clearly. But if you were sitting here, you would have been absolutely amazed at how wonderful this young lady did. So um, I wish you could all have been here with us. Um, Before I start to lose it, and before we talk about Shane, I just want to say a couple of thank yous on behalf of Erica and myself. To Ellen, you've now prepared both of our girls for their bat mitzvahs, and you will always have a special place in our family's memories. Rabbi Dinner and Rabbi Citron, thank you for supporting our family during these crazy days and for the wonderful guidance you always provide, not only to us, but our entire congregation. Zimmer Lexi, as always, your voice is the heartbeat of our congregation. And closer to home, I want to thank Kayla for working with your sister. I know it tested both of your patients, but I hope in some way it has brought the two of you closer together. And finally, a huge thank you to everyone watching today. In In this time of chaos in our lives, it's really important to feel the love and kindness of family and friends, no matter how close or far that you've taken time during this hardest of times to join us today speaks volumes about how important you are to all of us, especially to Shana. Shana, today I can honestly say your mom and I have never been prouder. Mm -hmm. You have come so far to get here, both in life and in preparation specifically for today. It took a lot of courage to speak about your ADHD and your Devar Torah. It has been a real challenge for you over the many years to learn how to get control over it without losing the essence of Shana. But we've all seen your remarkable growth as you've learned to channel that energy. From your younger years ripping through the water as part of the Granite Falls swim team, to being one of the fastest sixth graders on the Endeavor Middle School cross country team, to more recently playing volleyball, teaching yourself how to sew and make jewelry and start an online business selling them, and most importantly, becoming a solid student. You have flourished educationally and socially. Yes, there are still days when it remains a battle that you'll have to deal with for the rest of your life, but it does not and will not define who you are. I want 
to tell you something very important that you understand. When my dad passed away many years ago, I told the rabbi I wasn't prepared to live without him. The words he spoke next have stuck with me to this day. He told me, God would not have taken him from you if you weren't ready. So why is this important for you to understand? Because God has put a challenge in front of you, but he would not have done so if he didn't think you could handle it. So no matter how hard things get, remember that you have what it takes to conquer. And today is a perfect example of that. Just about six months ago when we met with Rabbi Citrin, I could see how terrified you were about this whole thing. You doubted whether you could even do one aliyah. When you started tutoring, it was so hard to get you to practice even for a moment. Slowly you got it going, and I could see your confidence growing. You conquered a few verses, then a few more, and then you took on even more than you planned. And here you are now, having accomplished arguably the hardest thing you've ever had to do, leading our congregation and our family through this service and having beautifully chanted 11 verses of Torah and reading four verses of Hap Torah. Let today and the efforts of the past six months be a lifelong reminder that you can accomplish anything you put before you, no matter how impossible it seems at the time. And if you aren't sure where to begin, just take that first step and you'll be flying in no time. Janet, your Hebrew name is Yaffa, named for your grandpa Jeffrey. For those who knew him, he was the life of the party, never one to be left out of the fun or be told you can't do that. When his parents told him to go be an accountant or, an, or a lawyer, like a good Jewish boy, did he listen? No, he skipped college classes and headed to the racetrack. Crazy, right? But he turned that passion into a lifelong, to a long and successful career that left a legacy you are a big part of. Now, I'm not telling you to skip out on class, but I am telling you to chase your dreams and make a success of yourself no matter where those dreams take you. Today is the first day of your Jewish adult life. Make every day hereafter count like there's no tomorrow, and do so while continuing to be the caring, big-hearted, funny, loud, silly, and beautiful young lady we all love so much. Marvel. Sheena, you and I... <laughs> Gina, you and I uh, had many conversations leading up to today, and your dad already spoke about the first one. And I remember sitting in my office thinking, she can do it if she just puts her mind to it. And you were not sure yet that you could do that. And I actually, coming back from maternity leave after a rehearsal, I went back to look because I said, I don't think that was the number of verses that we agreed upon. And as your dad said, it wasn't because you kept learning more and more and you put your mind to it and you were able to, to not only succeed, but to truly flourish as you led our congregation. And it takes an incredible amount of courage to share your struggle with ADHD and how that has helped you and how that connects to Torah and how you've overcome and how you continue to overcome that challenge. So it is truly an honor that I have this morning to offer you this blessing, to be the first bat mitzvah to celebrate uh, when I come back from maternity leave. I know we had a conversation. You were either going to be the first one that I was back for or the last one I was going to miss. And so I am grateful uh, that I'm here this morning knowing and seeing just how far you've come and how far you will continue to go. So Lexi, Zemmer Lexi and I will offer you these words. Uh, hopefully this is not the only time we will offer them as you continue your Jewish education and you continue to find the meaning that Judaism has for you, even if things don't always go exactly as they're planned. <laughs> May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence be with you always. May you feel God's presence, may you feel wholeness, and may you feel peace. Can you hear at zone? May that be God's will. Amen. Shana, we have for you some gifts that we have pre-delivered to your home, knowing how this day would be so special for you. 
from your class, you receive your own mini Torah. And as you look close within, you will find your own very portion that you have read and taught us today. From the religious school, a book, The Tapestry of Jewish Time, that you can use in the months and years ahead as you are celebrating your heritage, turning within it for prayers and rituals to mark the holy times in your life. From the brotherhood, we have for you a mezuzah to place upon one of the doorposts in your home, a symbol of your covenant now, the covenant your parents have now passed unto you. And from the congregation, a certificate signed by our clergy celebrating what you have become this day and your entrance as an adult into our community. And finally, the Kiddush cup sitting right there in front of the flowers, the one for you to keep, marking this special simcha that we hope you will raise many, many times in celebration of the years to come of your heritage that you have taught us from so beautifully. So mazel tov again, and we will invite the Jewish Jelly Donuts in just a little while to join us and raise their kiddush cups, celebrating this simcha with you. But for now, we turn back in our worship to blessings for those who face pain and illness in their lives. We think of those members of our congregation, and I invite you to write additional names in the chat. Sue Brim, Betty Cross, Sharon Davis, Harav Yisrael Gadal Ben Bacha, Dave Griffith, Anita Lederer, Wendy Newby, Candy Paul, Rudy Pariser, Jackie Schlesinger, Laura Stein, Christy Vinson, Bruce Wayne, Alan Weinberg, Abel Salzberg, and Yitzhak Shimon. We add those names to all of those who are in pain at this time, all of those suffering from COVID, and those whose names you have added. We add the names of all of those who suffered during the hurricane this week in the eastern part of our state, and the hundreds of thousands who lost their homes in Lebanon this week and the thousands who lost their lives there and the families who are in such pain at this time. And so we say together, Baruch Atah Adonai Rofeh HaCholim, blessed are you, O God, the source of healing. Amen. And now we turn to the adoration, page 282 through 287. Alinu l'shabeach l'adohun chakot, Nateit kidula liotze breishit, Shelo asanu kigwye aratzot, Velo samanu kemishpachot ha'adama, Shelo sam chalokeinu kahem, Vegohur aleinu kechulamona. Ba'anachnu korim, Umishtachabim umodim, Lifne melech, Malche hamlachim, Hakadosh baruch hu. V'nemar, V'haya Adonai, L'melech al kol ha'aretz, B'yom ha'hu, B'yom ha'hu, I'ye Adonai echad, U'shemo, U'shemo, U'shemo echad. Page 295. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those who we have drawn into our hearts with our own. We call to mind at this time the yard sites of Paul Abramson, Anne Allen, Joseph Cohen, 
Walter Gervis, Jacob Goodman, Mark Griffith, Marie Griffith, Lillian Halpern, Jeffrey Hirsch, Barbara Ann Holt, Bill Jasper, Rose Katz, Arnie Larson, Philip Leibowitz, Barbara Montgomery, Kate Niceless, Bert Saber, Harry Sale, Arthur Sandman, Lillian Silver, Donald H. Solomon, Moses Tesser, Sam Ward, and Sylvia Newman Zoller. We also add the names of Jeffrey Gottlieb, Bessie Gottlieb, Kate Nieslas, Ruth Gorelick, Max Heller, as we celebrate with the Gottlieb family in Shane and Becoming Bat Mitzvah, and we raise up the names of those who have come before her, who have added blessing to the life of her family. Zikronam Livracha, may the memories of all of them be for blessing. Page 294. <coughs> Excuse me. Yitkadal Vikadashamerabah. <coughs> Yit parak vi yishtabak vi yit paar vi yit ramam vi yit nase vi yit adar vi yit alev yit alal shemei de kurusha v'yechu leila min ko v'yachata v'yishirata tush v'yachata v'nechemata damiran v'yama v'yimru amen yehei shalom araba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'al ko yisrael v'yimru amen osei shalom v'yimru ma Ya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael. Vimru amin. May there be abundant peace from heaven and light for us and all Israel and all the world. And let us say together, Amen. We turn to Zemmer Lexi for our closing song. Page 343. Oh, shalom. So we complete our service with the Jewish Jelly Donuts, also known as our current eighth grade class. Congratulations from moving on up. Leading us in Kiddush and in Motsi as Shana holds that very special cup that the class and our congregation gives to you via our sisterhood. So Jelly Donuts, when I say three, please unmute yourselves if you have not done that already and join in this very special blessing, honoring the Simcha for Shana. One, two, and three. Amen. L'chaim. And with that sweet sip of wine, we wish you sweetness, Shana, from this day forward. And now a beautiful challah for your family to share and then to give us a little bite, we hope, as we ask the Jewish Jelly Donuts again to lead us on three, one, and a two, and a three. 
Shabbat Shalom, Bateavon, and you're everyone is welcome to unmute and wish their special Mazel Tov to Shana and the Gottliebs. Have a wonderful Shabbat. Mazel Tov, Shana. Mazel Tov, Shana. Mazel Tov. 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 Mazel